Hello friends, let's see, are we good? Yes, we're good. I always have to check that I actually have the sound on. Half the time I'm not even aware if I do or not. All right, let's scroll up, take a look. Shell, I saw your message, I made you a little command. Let's see, Cindy, hello Cindy, hi Miranda, hi Cat. Cat, I made you a command too. I was messing with my commands today, updating everything. So I made you a command too, Cat. Uh, let's see. Cindy, Miranda, hello, hello. Jennifer, hello. Let's see. Sherry, hi, Sherry. Almost done with your color colorathon pick. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about being slow, Sherry. These days, it has been taking me forever to finish a page. Like, I was so thrilled I finally finished that page I posted the other day. I mean, we started that, what, over a month ago? I mean, to be fair, I had surgery, but still, the amount of work and progresses I have, and then I'm just like, eh, I want to go to a new page. So you you are in good company, Sherry. Good, good company. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hi, let's see. Arion. Oh, gotta scroll back up. Lost it. Um, Aria, Mona, Aspie. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see. Uh, Jay, hello. Noni. Not Nani. It's Noni. <laughs> Pam, hello. Let's see. Let's see. Where's Steve? Steve is relaxing. I am... Wednesday will be three weeks post tonsillectomy and um short of just like a few little minor soreness um which I talked to my EMT today totally normal because I'm I'm older I'm not you know five years old and getting this done um I am pretty much on the up and up so yay um let's see yeah see there you go Sherry you're good take your time there's no rush oh my word cat cat thank you Kat, you are amazing. Can we get some hypes in chat for Kat and her super chat? If you're a member, you can use the emotes or you can type exclamation point hype. Oh my word, Kat. Oh my word. Look at you. Thank you so much, Kat. You don't have to do that. You are so sweet. Speaking of Kat and her sweetness, I also had something to share with all of you. Look at what she sent me the full 72 the full 72 oh my goodness cat you're amazing you're amazing you're amazing you're amazing look at how beautiful these colors are i mean gorgeous <laughs> steve says burr, burr, burr. <laughs> you are absolutely amazing cat uh i want to use these on our next picture but this is just, I'm going to make a full chart for these, which they'll go up on the website too if you want to uh, download them. But Kat, you're amazing, Kat. You're amazing. Oh, you're fine, Kat. You're absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. It was such, you checked the mail and I was like, oh, such happy mail. You are so sweet. Uh, and Kat, I don't know if you saw it, but I also made you a command. I was adding commands. So if you are a streamer or a youtuber and um you would like a i i did like six of them today i have a bunch of people that i follow but i was trying to think of like who actively uh puts uh puts out videos or or, or whatever so um if you want um a command in here just let me know um also i forgot to mention while i was recovering kenny saw i think it was sammy had this um i don't know if kenny's here tonight or not but she also sent me this a nice brush away the dust brush she saw that sammy had one and thought hmm emily could use that so she sent me this as well to brush away my pencil dust so that was very very sweet if she pops in i'll have to tell her thank you um so we have 
Oh, yes, yes. Well, and you know, mixing all those paints takes a long, long time. Um, we have a couple of announcements. Um, first of all, we finished, we finally finished. Oh, I bent it a little bit. Look at me not taking good care of my things. Uh, finally finished this picture and it's upside down. <laughs> we finally finished this one. Um, I finally hunkered down. I was like, okay, I just got to get it done. I got it done during, um, uh, yes, it is. It's super nice cat. Um, I got it done during Belinda's stream. Uh, but it's finally done. There's a good picture of it on Instagram. Hi, Michelle. Um, and so this is up there. A couple other announcements. A couple? One or two? Um, is, so we reached 10K followers on Instagram uh, shortly before I went in for my tonsillectomy. Might have been a week before. Um, but I... Uh, I wasn't feeling great and so I wasn't up to running it, but now I am post all of that. It's been about a month out. We made 10K and so today I set up a 10K followers giveaway on Instagram. If you wanna check it out, um, you can go to my Instagram. I also, you can type in giveaway. It kind of says a little bit, but it's gonna give you the same links as exclamation point Instagram. Um, but you're gonna go to my Instagram, check there. There's a post about it with all of the, um, excuse me. Uh, all of the instructions. Oh, awesome, Pat. Awesome. How'd you like it? Um, all of the instructions there. It's probably the biggest giveaway I've done. There's going to be three winners. Um, the first winner is going to have their choice of two stickers and two uh, PDF downloads. And then winners, to, the second winner and the third winner will get their choice of one sticker and one PDF download. So um, total, there'll be four stickers that are going to be given away and four pages total. Um, anyway, all you have to do is um, like the post, comment that you're in, and then tag somebody so that everybody else can get a chance to, um, to win it. So anyway, check out that giveaway on Instagram if you are interested. Speaking of stickers, one of the other things is there was a new sticker in the shop today. So um, if you haven't seen it yet, it is, it is this one. It's the new teacup sticker. So that one is in the Etsy store. You can find it at exclamation point Etsy. Boop. There it is. Um, the giveaway is going to be, it's starting, you know, it's already going on now and it'll be open until 2 p.m. Uh, not 2 p.m., I'm sorry, 9 p.m. Tuesday night central time. Central, I guess it's CDT, so central U.S. time. Um, and then I'll pick the winner on uh, 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 the 3rd. And then um, we've got some more stuff going on today. Thanks, everyone. Um, not today. Uh, later on this week. We've got some more fun stuff coming up later on this week. So keep an eye on the Etsy, on the Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, so like I said, the winners will get to pick one of the stickers. So I had more information about one of the other stickers. So I thought I'd go over in case anybody didn't know um, and anybody watching back or whatever. Um, so we have the teacup. This is the new one today. There is here. Let me move this book out of the way we can see them here let's get this a little brighter and get this in focus there we go okay so we have the rainbow trout sticker the teacup sticker mandala we have the unicorn a little bit of a glare on there i'm i had to order some new light bulbs because the light bulbs on my light broke so that's why it's a little bit darker on this side they should be here in a couple days uh, we have the galaxy cat sticker we have the teapot sticker. Note about the teapot sticker. This is one of two left. So if you've been having your eye on this one, there are only two left in the shop for this one. Um, the apple fairy house sticker. There's also only like 10 or 11 of the mushroom house stickers. I might reorder this one. I'm not sure yet. Um, I don't know that I'll reorder this one though. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but for now, that's the mushroom one. That's holographic, holographic semi-holographic. Um, we have the octopus one. And the other announcement I had was about this one. This one ended up being super, super popular. I got a lot of messages about it. So I think rather than giving this one away as a freebie, um, I'm going to put this one up in the shop for people that want it because we have a new freebie that's going to go in the envelopes. And this is my little uh, logo flower um, sticker that will go in the um, sticker purchases. So 
loads of sticker information. Um, so anyway, check out the Etsy shop, check out the giveaway. Um, there's going to be three winners for that. So lots and lots of fun. And it is open, uh, worldwide. Okay. Is that everything? <laughs> That's everything. I was trying to remember everything I wanted to tell you guys. And I think that's about it. How are all of you? How's everyone doing? Hi, Bev. And if I missed anyone, I apologize. Hello, hello. Yes, Kat, I feel like I've been making up for lost time. Like seriously, this coming week, later later in this week, um, we've got some, some fun stuff coming up. So um, it'll be shortly after the giveaway. You guys will um, find out about it. I'm really excited on it. I've been working on it for ages and I can't wait to show it to all of you. So keep an eye out. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Um, yeah. How is everybody else? I mean, I just, I'm, I'm finally coming down from everything and it's just, I, this is probably the best I've felt in a while. I had some residual headaches the last few days, but I'm finally getting those back on track. I'm seeing my chiropractor tomorrow for the first time in, oh my gosh, even before COVID went down, oh, thanks, Bev. Uh, before COVID went down, it had been like a month and a half since I'd seen the chiropractor. And then I chose not to go see her after COVID happened. So it's probably been about seven and a half months since I've seen the chiropractor. And so I am, I am so excited. <laughs> well, Sherry, it was a little rough. There's a reason that I wasn't as active as I wanted to be during it. But, you know, I'm, I'm feeling better now. We even had pizza for dinner tonight. I ate pizza. I talked to my doctor today. They said, give, gave me the go ahead for eating pizza. And I'm like, heck yes, man. Heck yes. I love the pizza. <laughs> so yeah, it's been, it's, it's been encouraging. You know, the kids are in full swing of school. So it's, I think Steve is glad to have me back feeling better. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Robin. Um, so yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very positive, you know? It feels nice to be getting things back to normal. Oh, no worries, Kat, no worries. He had so much fun. Um, okay, so I was gonna tell you too, I can't remember if I said, I have, when I get some time, I wanna recreate this Faber-Castell chart this, so it has the names also. If I could fit all of the names from the 144, Black Widows, surely I can fit that. Thank you, Michelle. Can we get some hypes in chat for Michelle? Can use the emotes or type exclamation point hype. Thank you so much, Michelle. You're so sweet. Exclamation point hype. There we go. Oh, which reminds me, if you haven't heard or you aren't aware, um, I finally made all of my swatch charts available um, to the public, so to speak. So you don't have to be part of Facebook to get them. If you are interested in swatch charts, um, some free coloring pages, the worksheets that go with the color theory class, uh, and I feel like, oh, some color palettes, some color palettes also, you can go to my website, exclamation point website, navigate to the download section, and I have a whole page with, um, I used Google Drive, and I have all of the downloads there, um, absolutely for free. All you just click, download, and print. Um, they're all in Excel format. When I update this one, I will re-upload that so that you guys can have access to the new one. So there's been loads of fun stuff. <laughs> like I said, been a little busy, but like I said, I also feel like I've been trying to make up for lost time. So it's good to be back guys. It's good to be back. It's good to feel good. I'm, I'm, it's probably good. I went and did that. And when I am completely 100%, I'm probably gonna feel even better. So, yeah, hi Nelly. So yeah, uh, downloads on the website. Take a look at the giveaway on the Instagram. And thank you again, Kat, for your lovely super chat and your lovely gift. And Michelle, thank you, thank you. You guys are so, so amazing, honestly. I would not be where I am in the stream and the followers and the YouTube followers and everything without you guys. Like, if you guys weren't here, I'd just be sitting here talking to myself. So everything I've been able to do for the channel, for the Instagram, everything, it's all because of you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everyone and your support and your involvement and just hanging out here with me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, what do you say? Let's see, what time is it? 8.44? Hey, I got announcements done in like 15 minutes. That's gotta be like a record. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and pick our next color. I was trying to decide if we should do teacup or turtle. I'm kind of honestly leaning towards the turtle, but let's see. I didn't cut the page out. So oof, we're going to shift things on the desk here. And oh, look at that. He's perfect in there. I am looking forward to getting those other light bulbs, though. We can get a little bit, a little bit more light on this side. Yes, turtle. Okay, yes, Allison votes turtle. I think turtle as well. All right, let's get Mr. Turtle here all in focus. There we go. All right. You know, I made tea. Well, actually, Steve made it for me. I made tea with caffeine in it, but now I'm wondering if I even need it. <laughs> I get so hyped. There's that song that I play uh, right as I start it. That dun 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 dun. I'm telling you that that song. Like it gets me so hyped and like excited for stream. It's good. Okay, so I kind of just I, I know he's a tortoise and I, he probably should be more brownish but I kind of want to go green maybe we can do like a little bit of brown on his body but I think definitely green for the shell we'll go we'll go traditional so like I said we're using Faber I can't talk words are hard Faber Castell polychromos um so let's grab I think 165 163 and I think in 171. Okay, so let's start with that. 165. Oh my gosh, I used my pencils the other day and didn't put them back with the numbers facing up. So now I'm gonna have to hunt for it. I have no one to blame but myself, really. 165. Here we go. Juniper green. Okay, 165. And what did I say? I said, okay, 161. No. 260. Mm, I can't remember what I said. <laughs> yeah, 163. 163. Hi, Allie. And if I missed anyone coming in or anybody lurking, hello, everyone. All right, 163 is going to be. Okay, that's permanent green. What's this? That's 112. That's leaf green. 163. Here we are. <gasps> Shannon! Shannon, I was showing a few people. I made some new commands. Um, I realized when I was going through my commands, for some reason, at one point, we gave you the command Lurky. And I'm thinking I'll change that to your name, just exclamation point Shannon, because I added your channel in the command as well. I think it's because you're like, like, we must have like had a joke where you like you were here and then someone said your name and then poof, there's Shannon. <laughs> Oh, awesome, Pam. Well, if you want to do the teacups, um, we did these uh, in the uh, first stream back. So not last stream, but the stream before. Okay, and then 171. I have to thank you for introducing me to Shapiro Farbins. I love them and like you love your Ergo Softs. Oh, awesome, Sherry. <laughs> Fanfare for you. Bye -bye. It's Shannon. <laughs> Let's see, 171 light green. All right, let's start with these colors here. Okay, all right. It does make it harder though, because I can't turn this as much because it's in the book. Let's see. There we go, all right, that works. All right, so we clearly got some shadow already. One thing to keep in mind is that Rory Dobner, the illustrator for this, he did not draw this book for it to be a coloring book. He drew it as finished black and white images. Um, so, hi Mary, hi Charlotte. Um, and so, uh, that's something to keep in mind. So like he has some stuff that's filled in everything. Um, so you kinda, you know, work around some of the darker stuff. Think of it more like a cross hatch grayscale, uh, if that makes sense. All right, so, one of the nice things about this is it tells you kind of the idea of where your darker colors uh, could be. So we're going to start with uh, Juniper Green 165. So let's see, today is Monday? Oh gosh, I don't even know what today is. Yes, today's Monday. So how has, how has everybody's weekend? How has everybody been? How's everybody feeling? Tell me, tell me, what'd you have for dinner or breakfast or whatever time it is for you? <laughs> All 
right, so we're going to do the darker here. What's the what's the news with everybody? Anything exciting happening? There were some guys pouring cement outside today. The kids found that pretty thrilling. Exhausted. Yes, Mary, you guys have been streaming. Oh, I need to make you guys some command. I need to make Mary and Tanya a command. You guys have been just you and Shannon and everybody for the for the ferry. You guys have been just streaming the heck out of stuff. But you guys got so many pages done. I swear, you guys can get like four pages done for my one. <laughs> oh, yeah, understandable, Shannon. Understandable. Did you get to eat your cereal? <laughs> it was so fun. Had a blast at the lake with all my fellow employees. Found out I'm really bad at Jenga and corn pole. That's right. That's right. You had your had your trip. Did you have fun at least though? Was it was it relaxing to to a degree? New food combo. Oh man, should we be worried? <laughs> Air quality here is still horrible, so we stayed inside all week. And oh, I'm sorry, Allie. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have some wind blow through or. Well, I guess maybe not wind. Rain. Rain would probably be good. Rain to douse everything, and then wind. That would be good. Oh no, we got rid of our cable, so I haven't really been keeping up, and I've been trying to stay off social media, because everything is... Oh, the world, all is doomed! So I've been trying to, <laughs> to keep off of it lately, because it's a little bit much. Um, so I haven't been keeping up as much as with the developments. Got a couple diamond paintings from Mystical Diamond Art. Salem the Cat and Dreamcatcher Owl. Oh, fun, Terilyn. I still haven't tried it. Reese's Peanut Butter Puff Cereal with Vanilla Icing. Oh, my goodness. Shannon, how do you not, like, for sugar, that much sugar. Oh, my gosh. I would get, like, immediate headaches. It does sound good, though. Uh, I was telling Steve today, he was teasing me because our son really likes goldfish and he will just eat a ton of that. And I was saying, oh, I can't blame him. When I was, you know, as a kid and I was finally earning my own money, I love goldfish so much I would eat it all the time. For those of you who are curious, goldfish are crackers. Uh, we've had this conversation before because goldfish, um, oh, I think we had it at one point, an emote that had a little fish in it. Um, but anyway... Um, they're, they're like a cheese cracker. Anyway, he loves to eat it. And I was saying how I would go get goldfish crackers and I'd get an Archie comic and then I'd get a tub of frosting and snack on that because that was the kind of kid that I was. And he just looked at me like, what? I was like, I finally had my own money. I was going to buy whatever I want. So what does a kid with their own money buy? Goldfish <laughs> or not goldfish, tubs of icy. <laughs> Lots of laughter and good food. Oh, awesome cat. You just ruined a good cereal, Mona. <laughs> Don't eat a whole bowl. Oh my gosh. Do you add milk to it too? Or does the frosting replace the milk? Because that would be like... Sticky. <laughs> so we're just kind of filling in with this juniper. We're going to add more depth. We're going to go back and add some browns and stuff to add a bit more depth to this. Sounds good, Christian. No milk? Wait, 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 wait. So, like, legit, the frosting replaces the milk? Or are you, like, putting the Reese's Puff in a bowl and then, like, drizz spoon in icing, then dip in this... Oh, my gosh. I could maybe do, like, one, uh, one spoonful. Maybe. But that just... Oh. Yeah, that would be like a tummy ache waiting to happen for me. I'm not going to lie. Cat! <laughs> oh, my word. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Do you still do frosting on cake, or do you have a replacement for frosting on cake? Sounds like Dunker is. Oh! Yeah, it is like Dunkaroos, isn't it? Hi, Groon. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> I forgot about Dunkaroos. Oh, my gosh. 
All right, let's see. Uh, Emerald green, 163. Dunkaroos, man. I haven't thought about Dunkaroos in ages. Truth be told, I'm not really planning how I'm coloring this. Oh, here's hoping it turns out okay. <laughs> somewhere that Dunkaroos are like still available in Canada maybe? I don't know. Any Canadians know of Dunkaroos? I don't know. Where did I read that? I'm trying to remember. It might have been like some random BuzzFeed article or something. Yeah, I guess that's fair. That'd be pretty similar to Dunkaroos. Alright, let's go ahead and add in this one and then we're gonna start to define it. These, this is kind of like our base colors here. Alright, so light green, 171. I'm gonna get ourselves some browns too. Let's grab, ooh, 192 would be good. There it is. India red, 192. Dunkaroos in Australia, okay, okay. Dude, I'm still working on that box of uh, treats that Belinda sent me. I couldn't finish them for a while, so I still have some of those, uh, some of those Tim Tams. But I'm just savoring, I'm savoring them. All right, then we're going to grab Burnt Umber 280. Let's see, what else? Do I want anything else other than that? Yeah, actually, let's grab 246, which is Prussian Blue. Need to go to Australia? I do need to go to Australia. Be nice. There's a lot of places I want. I still want that summer home in the UK. That would be nice. Gotta get Steve to get on that. <laughs> All right, let's start with Bert Umber. Bit of that brown. Let's see how much of this. When you get a new artist like this, you kind of have to figure out your style for coloring. That's one of the reasons I really like Johanna's stuff is because I'm so familiar with it. I don't have to question a lot how I'm going to color it. You know, I've, I've looked at it so much and I've thought about it that a lot of times it almost just becomes second nature for how and, you know, the kind of the style that I want. They sell Dunkaroos on Amazon. Oh, really? Interesting. Interesting. Are they like knockoff Dunkaroos or like the legit Dunkaroos? All right, India Red. And I wonder where they're shipping from. Mystery of the Dunkaroos. I'm trying to think, what was my big treat that I ate as a kid? I remember my mom used to get those Flintstone vitamins. That was ages ago. Curious though how much actual vitamin was in those Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> I was bad with sugar as a kid though, man. I ate so much. I mean, it's no wonder I have like headache, like sugar, sugar headaches, like now as an adult. Like I ate so much sugar as a kid, you know, not not, you know, my mom didn't know that I was eating it. You know, I was the kind of kid that liked to sneak into the kitchen and like grab the clumps of, you know, there's always those little clumps of brown sugar. I'd sneak in, grab a clump of brown sugar and just eat that. Like, it's ridiculous. I am, Sherry. It is, it is really nice. I'm not going to lie. Love the cottages in the UK with the thatch roof so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yes. Love it, Michelle. Love it. 
Three pack Dunkaroos, vanilla cookies, vanilla frosting with rainbow sprinkle Dunkaroos, classic retro vintage snack pack brand. Betty Crocker. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to do like a Dunkaroos stream. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine? <laughs> be hilarious okay let's grab our actually i want to grab another green Ooh, 158 would be pretty 158 is there it is it is deep cobalt green that'd be nice deep cobalt green Just get you some Reese's Puff and vanilla icing. There you go, Shannon. Oh my goodness. Does Brian eat it too? Which he did so good on his streaming. Has he ever, before the day that he colored by himself, had he, I, you mentioned that he did Inktober, but had he ever uh, done video too? Hi, Allie. In grade school, my favorite snack was raisins rolled in powdered sugar. They serve them on Fridays with lunch. Interesting. I mean, I suppose that's no different than like the raisins and raisin bran because they're they're rolled in like regular sugar. No, he thinks you're insane. <laughs> what about the pizza and icing? Honestly, uh, Shannon, we had pizza for dinner tonight and I was sitting there thinking I'm like, hmm. I need some frosting with this. <laughs> that was his first video. Well, he did so good. All right, we're using juniper, juniper green now. Oh, good. I totally went out of the line a little bit on there. Uh, let's see. Let's grab this. Oh, it's not a big deal to go out of the lines, but... There we go. I mean, that was, that was pretty blatant. <laughs> okay, now let's grab pizza with sliced peaches and brie. Like, on the pizza grill or on the side? I suppose that's no more weird than, than like pineapple pizza because there's pineapple on it. But I feel like peaches are such a wet fruit. Like how do you, how do you prepare that, Groon? Is it like thinly sliced peaches or is it like triangle shaped peaches like the pineapples are? I actually ordered a percolator coffee pot today so I could make a pot, make a cup, ah, hot up, sure, 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 words are hard. Make a pot of coffee. Interesting. I like the percolator. Not on the pizza. <laughs> on the pizza in the air fryer. Interesting. So is the brie like in chunks? I don't, I'm intrigued, Grin. I feel like you need to like post a picture of this at some point. All right, Emerald Green 163. I'm intrigued. I've actually been off like for the longest time, like Hawaiian pizza. First of all, we had a friend from Hawaii and it drove him nuts that we called it Hawaiian pizza. He's like, it's not Hawaiian pizza. I'm like, okay. Um, but Hawaiian pizza was like the only thing I ate for a while as far as pizza is concerned. And then this year I started eating, um, the, my go-to pizza order is uh, chicken with roasted red peppers and uh, red onions. I'll take regular onions uh, if they don't have red onions. Um, but yeah, chicken, roasted red peppers, and onions and oh Trish I'm always working when you're streaming I have to catch up later I'm at my desk but thinking you came in for a quick hello Trish thank you so much can we get some hypes in chat for Trish you are so sweet here we go get some hypes or you can type exclamation point hype thank you so much Trish you are so sweet thank you everyone you guys are amazing Make me feel so welcome. I missed you guys. This has been just way too long. I mean, I know that it was planned and everything, but it's good to be back. It's not Hawaiian pizza. Okay, can I have some of that Hawaiian pizza anyway? <laughs> you guys are so sweet. 
Yeah, so I like the chicken and, and all of that, but... Oh, I'll tell you, it's hilarious. We were sitting at the dinner table, we're eating, and my son looks over at me, and he's like, Mommy, I hate to tell you this, but I see some gray hairs. I was just like, oh! <laughs> he's little, so he doesn't know the difference, but I was like, come on! <laughs> I don't have that many. Uh, okay, light green, 171. So those kids say the darndest things, right? I see, I'm feeling a little better than last night. I rescheduled my blood test for tomorrow, Thursday. But I rescheduled because I have to work tomorrow and have to fast. That would have drove me crazy. Oh, yeah, totally. You love Hawaiian pizza as in past tense, Sherry? Or was the D a mistake? My favorite is potato, bacon, wood, fire, grilled pizza. Potato? Really? A particular kind of potato or how are the potatoes put on it like um like thin slices of potato or chunks of potato i'm intrigued by like i like because i like potato in a burrito i could be on board for potato on a pizza i think that could work all right we're gonna grab indian red again a bit that on there. Oh, this is turning out nice. Okay, I'm pleased with this. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, honestly. You know, I could zoom in a little bit more here. There we go. That's a little bit better. Make sure it's nice and bright for you. Can't stay. Just wanted to come give a thumbs up, a little support. Oh, thanks, Rochelle. Thank you. And just a reminder to everyone coming in, if you missed the earlier announcements, there is a 10K follower giveaway on Instagram going right now. It's going to run until September 2nd. So if you want to check that out, uh, head on over to my Instagram um, for that post. Yay, we're all yay for the potato pizza, but yucko the vanilla. <laughs> I didn't say yay. I said I'm intrigued and I could get on board. I could get on board with potato pizza. <laughs> Thanks, Shannon. I am, I am intrigued, but I mean, how it's, how it's presented also makes a world of difference. All right. I want to grab juniper green again. Oh my gosh. It has been so hot here. I cannot wait for fall. I'm telling you. So, so hot. But at least we have air conditioning. Is that turtle wearing a football helmet? I think so. I think so, Allison. I mean, if I was carrying a very precarious stack of teacups, I probably would be too. His name is, oh, it's a she. Tiny teacups. It has the, the thing on the side. So it says, tiny teacups aren't designed for animal paws. So things do tend to end up on the floor. This is where Mary Shelley comes in. Hard helmet firmly in place, expertly maneuvering through the chair legs. So yeah, she is all set for cleaning up after the other animals here, apparently. <laughs> yeah, let's make sure that's in focus. There we go, that's better. Yeah. Let's see. You know what's good? Fries, potatoes with cream corn on top. I would be willing to try that. And only because, and this may sound weird, if in the event I happen to eat box macaroni and cheese, she turtle has helmet hair. <laughs> if in the event I happen to eat box mac and cheese, it doesn't happen that often these days. One of my favorite things, because I ate it this way as a kid, my dad ate it this way too, is I like to mix cream corn with the macaroni and cheese. Maybe it's a texture thing. Maybe it's like, because the cream corn's, you know, kind of sweet. So maybe it's a sweet and salty thing. But I do like cream corn macaroni cheese. So I could get on board with that. Let's see. There's a wood fire pizza place called Peel in Illinois that does pizza. Bacon, fingerling, oh, fingerling potatoes. Okay. Cheddar, Parmesan cream finished with fresh chives and sour cream. That's like a big potato pizza. I could get on board with that, cat. I, I would definitely be willing to try that for sure. In that case, since she's a she, should we do a like a like a pretty helmet on her, like purple and pink? Not that only girls can have purple and pink. It is 2020. Her favorite color may be blue. I will not gender assign. <laughs> but you know, it could be pink sparkly. We could do pink and add some sparkles. That could work. Macaroni and cheese and baked beans is yummy too. Mixed together or just on the same plate? My mom used to make mac and cheese with cream of mushroom soup. I wasn't a fan. Interesting. 
So that's the turtle that wrote Frankenstein? Maybe. Yes, girly helmet. Okay. Okay, we can do a girly helmet. All right, let's grab our juniper green again. We may add some more brown on top, but I want to get this other um, bottom half here colored before we add more. It's so good. I miss having it. That sounds good. That sounds real good. I mean, I highly doubt my kids would eat it, but I think that Steve and I probably would. There is a place where I grew up that has really good teriyaki food. Steve and I love to go to, and it always, I think that's one of our big things we miss from where we're from. Del Topaz colors. Oh, shield Topaz colors? Mm, you lost me, Jay. I think that was a typo, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> Some of this green up top here. We'll definitely have a little bit more of a brownish color on her body. But like a pink kind of helmet could work because, you know, red and green complementary. It could work. It could work. I might do spaghetti and baked beans mixed. Interesting. I'm not going to say no. I'm gonna say interesting. I wanna get rid of a little bit of that because I think I want a little bit of the lighter green on top of that. So we are gonna take our juniper green again. A little bit of space for kind of do a highlight green here. That's why I kind of, like I said, when you're coloring a new thing, you kind of have to figure out your style with it and kind of what works. Fries with a milkshake? Mil milkshake, yes. Okay, so I haven't done that, but I have heard many of people like like to go to McDonald's, get fries, and then dip their fries in the milkshake. I mean, that's gotta be like a salty and sweet kind of deal. <laughs> uh, see, everybody's on board. Fries and a milkshake. Okay. I don't know why I'm using my hands. Use my brush, it's sitting right here. There we go. Still using that juniper green. No. Okay. Then we're going to grab emerald green again. Yeah, it is nice to, nice to be back. I mean, I know it was back, you know, last week, but I wasn't, you know, fully here. Just good to be on the upswing of this. I like onion, green pepper, and mushroom on my pizzas. I can get on board with the onion, green pepper, because I like onion and red pepper. Um, but I do not like the texture of mushrooms. Like, even when we make stroganoff, um, we don't put mushrooms in it. I don't know what it is. I just, I cannot do mushrooms. I'm weird about my vegetables though like I don't mind zucchini so much like we do like a like different dishes with zucchini um cucumbers I can't tomatoes I like things that are made out of tomatoes you know like ketchup and whatever else but I have issues with vegetables <laughs> my favorite pizza is barbecue chicken with bacon onion and pineapple see I don't I, I'm making it sound like I'm a super picky eater. I swear I'm not. Steve loves everything barbecue. Like he absolutely loves it. But I am not. I don't. I don't like a lot of barbecue. Um, it has to be specific. I like a good pulled pork sandwich, but just straight up barbecue sauce on pizza. I've never been able to. Steve would be all over that though. Yeah, it's the texture of the mushrooms. I don't know why. Like, are I don't know. They crunchy or are they soft they shouldn't be crunchy but i don't know sometimes it's really is just the the texture of it it's weird all right um let's fill in with and we're gonna go back over again this is just sort of the base layer okay we're gonna grab our light green here and we're just gonna fill in the rest of this space we're gonna start bringing in our browns and our greens and all of that This 
is like the most hazard and willy-nilly I ever color is when I'm filling in a large space. I just, just scribble, just scribble it in. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I man, I even shared it on my Instagram story. Oh, awesome. Sounds good, Terilyn. Thank you. Let's see, I'm not a fan of the earthy flavor or texture. Oh, yeah, I could get on that. Yeah, I don't eat raw tomatoes. It's the slimy stuff around the seeds. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. See, that's kind of where I am with the whole texture thing. I just, and I tried. I really tried. I just, yeah. We have a firehouse pizza place here that make a chicken broccoli with white Alfredo sauce. It's really yummy. That could be good. Yeah, because I've done like a chicken with white sauce before. That could be real good. And I do enjoy broccoli. I do. All right, let's grab um, burnt umber. I really love like a broccoli cheddar soup. I love broccoli cheddar soup. Although whenever we go to our like bakery place here, not that we have recently, but when we did, they always, you know, cause they serve like potato soup and stuff there. And so they always ask uh, like, oh, do you want, you know, cheese and, you know, cracked pepper on top? I always feel like it's overkill though when they ask if I want cheese on my broccoli cheddar soup. It's like, how much cheese do I want in this thing? Of course, it really is no, I mean, cheese is pretty amazing. It's hard to say no to more cheese. I like cheese. I like a good smoked Gouda. Smoked Gouda and I really like, if I have the option for provolone, oh sorry, I'm using um, burnt umber. If um, I have the option for provolone, like on my burgers or sandwiches, I'll do uh, provolone cheese as well. So good. All right, let's see here. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum, boom, boom. Sorry, let go of the book for one second. <laughs> do, 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 do. Turning the volume up just a tad. There we go. All right, so burnt umber. So what is everybody working on at the moment? I know Sherry's working on her fairies. What uh, are we doing? PDFs? Are we doing books? Who are we working on at the moment? I know not too long till Johanna's uh, mini book comes out. That should be fun. All right, uh, Juniper Green. I guess there's a f like three, four. There's a few. Uh, there's a few new illustrations in them as well. Let's see. Very good. I like it because I don't always like tomato sauce all the time. Yeah, that makes sense. Broccoli cheddar soup, my favorite. Yummy goodness, French onion soup is... Have I ever had French onion soup? I'm wondering now if I've never had French onion soup. PDF, fairy celebrations, nice. Uh, Noni, what's the paper like in fairy celebrations? I think I forgot to ask. Or is fairy celebrations the one that's printed in Create Space book? Or Create Space paper? I'm working on a bowl of popcorn because y'all made me hungry. I'm <laughs> bad. I tend to do that a lot. My bad. Fall fairy from a book. Nice. I'm still wearing a cane on Ivy and Inky Butterfly. I'm on the Wonder Room double page spread. Oh man, Allie, that's impressive. It has been a long time since I've done a double page spread. Like I just have not had the stamina to bust one of those pages out. I think probably the hardest one I ever did was the four page spread in the back of Lost Ocean. I did that one. However, like looking back at it, I would color it like way differently now, but yeah, it's intense. Uh, let's see. Creative Haven, Autumn Scenes, coloring a tree at the moment. I couldn't find a fairy I wanted to color. That's fair. That's fair. It's smooth and thick. Oh, nice. Okay. What is Create Space Paper? Um, so when you self-publish on um, Amazon, the publishing company that's on there, it's called Create Space. And what it does is it's generally, the idea behind it is written books, not necessarily coloring books. So when you publish a coloring book um, through Create Space, you have a tendency, you're more likely to get um, not as high quality of paper. Now, a lot of people I know don't mind it because they go ahead and do photocopies and then color it from that anyway. But it's, it's fairly similar to what you would find paper-wise it's closer to what you would find in a children's coloring book than what you would find in something like a Johanna's book. Um, it's thinner. The ink maybe might smear when you color over it. So, um, yeah, it's just not as high quality. Um, so it's not necessarily something I, I prefer. 
Let's see, you should try cracked chicken. It's slow cooker meal, it's so good and easy. What's in it, Kat? Oh, there it is. It says, it's chicken ranch dressing, cream cheese, and then add bacon at the end. That does sound good. Do you shred the chicken at the end or is it just like whole chicken breasts? Let's see. see it's definitely not create space. Think Hannah Carl's. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I like Hannah Carl's in paper. I'm working on a Laura Rafferty picture and one by Lisa Matroka. Nice. Which Laura Rafferty picture are you working on, Kat? I've never had the ink smear. Okay, cool. See, I, I'm not, I haven't, I think early, early days I ordered one. Um, and then I looked into Create Space when I was trying what to, to decide what to do for my own illustrations. Um, you know, obviously I ended up going the um, uh, PDF route, but I did look into Create Space, uh, Create Space briefly, trying to decide what it was I wanted to do. Um, you know, in the end, obviously I opted not to, um, but yeah. so I cannot speak firsthand. I don't really remember what it's like not the chili knife. I, I wouldn't say i wouldn't say crappy i would say just not to the level of standard that i enjoy coloring in i know that makes me sound like a paper snob but i'll admit it i'm a little bit of a paper snob i enjoy good paper i enjoy being able to not worry about the mediums that i'm going to use i you know i I'm, I'm more familiar with this kind of paper and what it can take, what it can handle. So, yeah. Mark the notification. I still missed it. Oh, no, Loretta. Well, you're here now. We haven't been here that long. Victorian Valentine. Yes, Kat. I'm working on that one, too. Uh, digitally, though, because when I, when I wasn't feeling up to coloring, I just sort of pulled that out and worked on it digitally. Uh, let's see. I'm not working on anything right now, but when I go back to work, I'm going to finish the picture that I was working on my Bible quotes book. Nice, Michelle. I'm busy though trying to finish a draw and draw this in your style. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Very cool. I am a paper sub. Yeah, I am. I can't help it. I can't help it. All right, let's grab deep cobalt green. I just, you know, Johanna's was my first real uh you know adult coloring book and after coloring on hers how can i how can i go back you know how can i go back i mean if i'm gonna make this effort to you know get nice nice color pencils and everything i feel like i should do them justice and give my pencils nice paper i just want my pencils to have nice things that's all <laughs> When my first cousin introduced, oh, when my first cousin introduced me, I thought she made up the name, but that's what it's actually called. <laughs> that's hilarious. Well, I made some really good, uh, I found this marinade recipe on Pinterest, and I marinated some uh, chicken breasts the other day, and I made shish kebabs with onions, red peppers. I had put pineapple juice uh, in the sauce and so i put pineapples on the sticks which actually ended up being a mistake because i forgot that i really wasn't supposed to have citrus yet i was not ready for it and man alive it hurt the chicken was great but when i accidentally ate the pineapple i was like ah for those of you that don't know had my tonsils out and during the healing process citrus is a big no-no yeah i forgot that kicked myself for that one um okay light green i'm gonna fill in this here on the bottom I was like, my bad. Let's see. Or is Emily, I'm a paper snob too. You're in good company, good. Hi, Kelly. And Kelly is our newest member as well. Hello, you've got that fancy little pencil next to your name now. And Kelly, you have access to all these fancy emotes. Clicking them all, boop, there we go. <laughs> Welcome, Kelly. Nelly, I think a lot of us are paper snobs. I take my book apart, scan them, and then I print them on the paper I want. Exactly, exactly. I can color on about anything other than that tone type paper or craft paper. It's too toothy and the color bothers me. Yes, I've done a little bit on um, tan paper. Um, like I did uh, recently one of Laura Rafferty's, I think it was like her Ice Queen. Um, but that's because I was practicing um, Lisa Matronkin's method for doing highlights. I got some white charcoal. 
Um, and I, uh, we're using burnt umber. I hadn't really tried that method before. I think it came out okay, but I was just like, well, if I'm really going to do this justice, I should, um, I should go ahead and use the, the tone paper. Okay. Get a sip of my tea here. I forgot I had it. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. I will say, like, his style, like, I mean, I, I know I mentioned already that he didn't color this intending it, or he didn't draw this intending it for it to be a coloring book, but his style feels like it would fit in really well with uh, Kirby Roseanne's. Like, that's what it reminds me of. All right, we're going to grab our juniper green again. Add a little bit. I feel like it's too bright in the middle. I don't want that bright. We're gonna do the same thing up here. I'm trying to get these two levels to look the same, but they are looking a little bit different. But there's also a lot more darkness up top here. How do you use those emojis? So, um, Kelly, if you are on mobile, down at the bottom where you would normally tap to type chat, there is a little smiley face. I'll show you here. So right down here at the bottom, boop, get that in focus there. Right down here at the bottom, there's this little smiley face and you tap that and then all the little emotes would come up and you just tap, tap, tap. And there you go. <laughs> there, now you can see how quickly, how quickly it, uh, it pops up. <laughs> Brighten that again. Uh, also, if you're on your desktop, it's the same thing. With, there you go. Awesome. All right, let's see. We are using, what was I using? Juniper green, juniper green, juniper green. There we are. That's a little bit harder here. I want to get darkness in here. Let's see, I've got to where I want to color my books more, which is highly unusual and odd for me. My books are precious to me. It's easy to copy them onto my own choice of paper. There you go. I will, I'll definitely print out more. I don't know. I have um, some, multi, like my Johanna books, I have plenty of copies of them. So I don't mind um, like cutting them out and stuff. Um, I don't know. Generally, I'm not going to color the same picture twice. I have with some Johanna ones. Um, but everybody else, I've never colored the same picture twice. So I don't mind using up the copy that I have because if I start it and I, even if I were to say, oh, this was kind of a failure, I'd rather just move on to a different picture, to be honest. Like, I don't want to like try again. I, I generally would probably get frustrated and be like, I'm, I'm done with it. But, um, yeah, so I don't mind cutting out the pages in the other books. The only reason I didn't cut it out in this book is because one, it's hardback. I will find it a little bit harder to cut out something hardback. And not to mention, this is like a true storybook. Like I said, it's not meant to be um, a coloring book. So I just have a harder time, a harder time dismantling this one, I suppose. Let's see. Ah, laser printer. Okay, okay. All right, so emerald green. Yeah, I think the shell's coming along pretty nice. Should we zoom out a little bit and take a look at it in the big picture? There we go. Not too shabby. I want to get a little bit darker on the sides, though, for sure. There we go. He's such a cute little turtle. I get bored with something and we'll color the parts of like notes. Yes, Sherry, that happens to me too. And then I just have to force myself. Like I'll get excited about an idea and I'll want to like, I'll color, color, color. And then I'll take a break and then I'll come back to it and be like, eh. which is not good when you have a coloring channel <laughs> because then people are like, so you're going to finish this one. I'm like, Ooh, I suppose I should. <laughs> 
Let's see, I actually have gone back and recolored pages that I did three years ago. It's amazing how much my coloring has changed. I've learned so much. Yes, the dragonfly page from Enchanted Forest. I have colored that one multiple times. That's sort of, because that was my first page I ever, like adult coloring page I ever did. Um, Burnt Umber, by the way. And uh, so, yeah, that is sort of my, um, I guess, what I measure my growth in. Like, all right, I've colored this one, you know, multiple different ways. How can I change it up? How can I make it better kind of thing? And I actually find that these days I'm not as concerned about like adding backgrounds. Like I just want to enjoy the illustration for what it was. Back in the day, I used to be like, okay, I have to add a background. And if I didn't come up with a good background idea, it was like, what's the point? But now I'm just like, you know what? That was too stressful. Like if I have a good background idea or I feel like it really needs it, sure, I'll do it. But otherwise, and I definitely did not just hit the pencil on the tripod. Nobody heard that. Um, but otherwise I'm just like, you know what? I just want to color the image and enjoy it. And when I've colored the image, now I want to move on to the next one. You know what I mean? Let's see. Thanks for streaming. I'm going to put it on TV. Take care everyone. Sounds good, Charlotte. I've colored a few twice. Some I know I want to cut later. I try to buy two copies then I can of the, of the less pricey books or scan it in separate later. Oh, there you go. That works. I was thinking the same thing about my skin tone. <laughs> I have several whips and it'd be my goal this year to finish them. I really should finish mine. And it's like, I'm like, I'm already partially done with these. Theoretically, it wouldn't take me that long to finish them, but it's also like forcing myself to sit down and actually finish them. You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, thanks, Kat. <laughs> I guess I just don't do them as often. And when I do do backgrounds, um, let's see, uh, emerald green. I don't make them super complicated. I make them easier. You know, I like to do the bubbles. Um, I do the watercolor. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll do little shadings here and everything. It's it's not totally complicated what I do now. Back in the day, I used to like add full characters. I'm wondering if I have that Enchanted Forest. Um, I've cut out a lot of the pages from my first Enchanted Forest book. And you can see some of them on Instagram. Oh, this one's trying to find my most worn binding here. Let's see. Uh, second copy of Serene. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, this was my first, my first book here. Okay, this one I did pastel clouds on. Ooh, wow, that's bright. Woo, there we go. Okay, this one I did pastel clouds on. And then, see, this is my very first one ever, was the dragonfly, very first one. Uh, didn't do much there. Let's see, see, yeah, that's something I started ages ago. Okay, so this one was one of my backgrounds that I did and looking at it, my blending was not great. I mean, if you look here, as soon as I lighten that. There is a very definitive line between the colors that I used. Um, so this was early, early, early days. Definitely, like way early. I had a lot of work to do with my blending. It was a really great idea and it took me a while, um, but this was super early days. Super, super early days. Um, yeah, I think I cut out, I cut out a lot of these. Where's my other enchanted? trying to see if I've got one of those that I added that background on. Okay, so here's another dragonfly. I added my own flowers behind it. And in this one, I made the dragonfly's wings almost see-through so you could see the flower behind it. Uh, let's see, I'm missing. Do any color thons yet? Yeah. The folder with whips, I've stopped because I disliked how they're coming along and stuff. My school spelling the same as yours but when I went back to the Navy, my so the leak away. <laughs> I have a couple of Christmas whips and we'll finish them promising myself. Let's see. Aw, oh, thanks, Nellie. Let's see. I'm trying to find... Let's see. That was the Christmas one. Yeah, see? Here's another whip. I had an idea for the unicorn page, but I never finished it. This really shows you, though, how the Enchanted Forest is a cream tone paper uh, because this was colored with white, so it's almost like a toned tan paper. Aw, thanks, everyone. Like I said, I cut a lot of my pages out, so I have them, like, 
hanging on my wall, so you can't see it. But a lot of the older ones I have are uh, on my Instagram. I was hoping to find at least one here to show you. Okay, here, here's my first copy of Secret Garden. Uh, let's see. Oh, this was when I hit a thousand followers on Instagram. Now we can just add a zero to that. How crazy is that? Really, that's absolutely insane. Yeah, but I colored her page specifically for a thousand followers. Here we are, ten thousand now. Which reminds me, don't forget giveaway for ten thousand. <laughs> uh, this was an idea I had for doing the rainbow. I would definitely do it differently now, where it's less obvious with the lines. I should redo that idea. That was a fun idea. Oh, okay. Here's the one. Here's one. Here's a good example. This was. Did the rose from Beauty and the Beast. I don't know if I have this one posted on Instagram. I think I was partially worried about um, copyright because I think I got this idea for him from somebody else. So I kind of like used somebody's picture of the beast and then redrew it myself. Like I didn't copy it exactly, but um, yeah, I don't know that I have this one posted. I was really trying to cover like the butterfly on here. So if you look close, I don't know if you can see on here, you see how it's all wrinkled? I really wailed on this paper. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a background one. I have way too many leaves in it, I know, right? It really does. It's definitely not my go-to book for sure. Let's see. Okay, all right, here's another one. Uh, I did the tree, but I added the cat. This kitty cat. Lots of birds. So I added the cat to that one. Um, this one added a hummingbird. This was another of somebody else's drawings that I redrew into the book. So this is before, you know, I was putting a lot of my stuff out there. So these days I would not do that because it, it's closer to like copyright issues. But I loved how they drew it. So I redrew it in the book. Uh, let's see. Okay, this one. I liked this one a lot. I took this one and turned it into a Wizard of Oz uh, themed one. Got the little rainbow. All of these were done with Prismacolors too. Um, back in the day, I only ever used Prismacolors. But I added Dorothy in on the Scarecrow and the Yellow Brick Road and little Toto over here. I was really kind of learning how to cover up, uh, you know, other stuff on there. But yeah, the Wizard of Oz themed one. I'm forgetting now, or I'm remembering now how many backgrounds I put on a lot of these. I mean, this was back in Oh gosh, 2015. Fun fact, it's not this one, but um, Secret Garden, I colored some pages, including the watering can uh, for Johanna's website. Ah, okay, here's another one. <laughs> I added a flower from Bambi in this one. Obviously, this was pretty close to, you know, an image from there. Again, I didn't trace it, but um, one of the things that I have found that I can do that I learned in art school. Um, I'm really good at like copying other people's things. Um, not in a plagiarism style, but like one of the assignments we had to do in art class was where you had to recreate a master's painting, you know, like um, Henry Matisse, Picasso, all of that. And I was actually pretty, pretty decent at that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that's one of the things I enjoyed doing. So, uh, yeah, this one was flower from... So what I would do is I would spend time thinking about the page and be like, okay, what TV character or what kind of background could I tie in with this? Um, let's see, that was the peacock. I was trying to think. At one point, I like made notes on some of these for what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, so like here... You can see ages ago, I made a note where I put Cinderella's carriage for this page. I don't think I ever went through with it, but oh gosh, yeah, an extra copy of the dragon. I have done two of the dragons and one of them I did in red and green. And then the last dragon I did, I did all in grayscale. You can see those on Instagram too, um, but yeah, I was, I was a little intense. Um, with my colorings back in the day, um, uh, but now I think I take a pretty significantly more relaxed approach where 
I just enjoy the process and just color what's given me on the page. And when I feel like I'm done, I'm done and I don't dwell on it. You know, I'm just like, okay, I feel like what I've done is pretty good. Um, I found that I was comparing myself too much to what everybody else was doing. I would see just these gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. Um, Peta Hewitt, Chris Chang, I mean, you know, gorgeous colorist, um, Ness Butler. I don't know if she's doing much these days, um, but she, they were all just so gorgeous. And I felt competitive, I guess, to a point where um, I was just like, you know, I really, I really, really want this to turn out well. And I just found, I enjoyed myself, don't get me wrong, but there was a certain level of stress that I put on myself for no apparent reason. So these days I just, Enjoy the process, you know? I don't stress about it. Now, don't get me wrong. I wish there was, um, let's see, deep cobalt green. I wish I had a few more whips that were done, but I definitely take a much more relaxed and enjoyable approach to it. And I don't, I, I do my best not to compare myself to anybody anymore. And I enjoy it for what it is, you know? That's why I may just do videos again at some point. Hi, Steve. Hello. What's up? Snack time. Oh, kitty snack time. Meow, meow. All right. We might be about done with the shell. But yeah. So if there are things about your coloring that the fun is being taken out of, then it's, you know, might be time to reevaluate what's motivating you or what your goals are. I would recommend that you only use the pencils that have three pluses. Oh, Lord, Steve. Because those are clearly the best pencils. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do with him, chat? Hmm? What are we going to do with him? Yeah, I saw. Um, you should do more videos, Sherry. I stress that I'm not good enough. I try hard to just enjoy the process, but it's not easy with so many great colorists. See, and that's the thing is that, I mean, the world is huge and there are incredibly talented people in this world, incredibly talented people. I mean, what Belinda can do with her markers just blows my mind in just a short period of time. I mean, it takes me so long to get a page done and she can just blow me out of the water in an hour and a half and boom, there's a page done. And so, I mean, the world is so big. There is all, it's kind of like, Here's a Star Wars reference. Brian will like this one. Uh, and Shannon, too. It's it's the one with Jar Jar. Anyway, there's there's a thing where Qui-Gon says, you know, there's always a bigger fish. And that's, you know, where, you know, one fish, a yeah, big fish eats, you know, one fish eats a small fish. And then there's a big one that eats that. And the point is, there's always going to be a bigger artist. There's always going to be a quote-unquote better artist, you know. And if you spend time thinking about how you feel like you're not up to the level of those artists, it's going to take the enjoyment out of what you're doing, you know, you, you color for you, you draw and color the way you do. I mean, over the years, my coloring has, I've simplified it, you know, I've simplified it and I don't worry about it as much. I definitely don't, um, um if anybody follows Fane, uh, F-A-Y-N-N, -N, her stuff is amazing. It's gorgeous. It's detailed. What she puts on that paper it's practically magic. Like, I don't know how she creates what she does. Trish, I missed your super chat. How did I miss that? Oh, no, wait, I didn't. It's over there on the left. It just looked different. I was like, wait a minute. No, that was earlier. Sorry, I saw a notice. Um, but anyway, Fane creates gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And I look at that and I go, man, I wish I would have thought of that. Man, I wish I could create that. And, you know, I've tried on my own. And the fact of the matter is I'm not Fane. Fane is Fane, and that is her style. So the best thing that you can do, if you are feeling intimidated by anyone, you know, take a look at what someone's doing and, you know, think, I like the way that shading is done or I like the way those colors are chosen. And maybe take those things, see if you can incorporate them into your own work. But don't worry about trying to color the way somebody else does. Color the way that you color. You know, I tell I tell my daughter all the time because she sees she sees what I do. And you know, it's hard for me because I don't want to to hide 
hide what I'm doing from her. But, you know, she comes into my office and I've got my pictures all up on the wall. I like looking at them. And she looks at it and she says, Mommy, why can't I color like you? I wish I could color you like you. Like, you know, she she gets real down on herself and I have to explain to her. Yeah, I'm just like, you know, honey, mommy's been on this, you know, mommy's been coloring for a very long time. Mommy's been doing art for a very long time. Like, you can't, you can't expect that what you're doing to be what I'm doing. I was just like, what you're doing is very good for you. And so it's kind of the same thing with that. Everybody in every walk of life um, has had different life experiences, which has allowed them to practice different things and learn new things. And no one person is alike, which means no one person is going to have the exact same skill. So take what you want from other from other artists and try to incorporate it into your style into what you feel is comfortable and you know your your work is going to grow and it's going to change into something to where it's recognizable as you so like for mine for instance a lot of people can recognize what i color because i like to use a lot of soft pastels and bright colors you know and then you know like i said fanes is very recognizable because she has a very distinct style so don't worry too much about what your final product is enjoy the time and you know what I have a pile of work in progress. So if you're looking at something and you go, man, I'm just not feeling this picture anymore. Like, I, I'm done with it. Don't feel obligated to finish your picture, you know. Even if you're sharing things regularly. Like, for me, you know, I share a lot of stuff. And sometimes, you know, I kind of feel like I should probably finish that. And, you know, I do. And I finish it. But don't let what you're feeling and what you're stressing about take the enjoyment out of what you're doing. Just enjoy what you're doing. And if you're not, don't do it. Move on to something else. Like a big thing about, about, you know, adult coloring is it's stress relief. You know, like I have uh, a relative that likes to, that likes to, she, she colors on occasion, but she tells me, she's like, can you just tell me what colors to, to choose? Like, I, I don't like thinking, I was just like, you know what? Like, I'll tell her, I'm like, I'm not going to tell you which colors to choose. Like that flower over there, color it purple, color it yellow. Just because it's a rose doesn't mean it has to be red. Sorry, this is my whole, <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent. Let me scroll back up. Uh, let's see. She is magic with her Copic. She really is. She does have the good stuff, but you can also, you know, create with all kinds of stuff. I, I have never in my life used, used Copics. I want to. Don't get me wrong. I want to. Uh, that'll be my plan eventually. Exactly, Kat. You are your own worst critic. Most definitely. Who? Uh, Fane. I think that's who I was talking about. It's spelled... F-A-Y-N-N. -N. You could look her up on Instagram. She's really great. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. Belinda's page from last night was awesome. I couldn't believe how she did it so fast. Oh, I know, right? She's like like miracle worker. Admits to swiping color combos from people. Oh, yeah, totally, Kat, totally. There's one thing if you, like, directly copies an artist's thing and claim, oh, this was my idea, I completely came up with it, that's one thing. But it's another thing to take inspiration from artists and be like, okay, this was really cool what they did, I'm going to go ahead and try that. So there's, there's, that, there's a big difference in that one. And if you want to, you know, credit the artist, say, hey, I was inspired by so-and-so, then that's, that's, always, that's always good, too. Oh, thanks, Kat. I started doing that and that's why I have so many whips. Exactly. But you just, you do it. And if it doesn't make you happy, then don't do it. Uh, let's see. That's why I have so many whips. Always enjoying. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Let's see. Wow. That's really, that's really bright. There we go. That's better. All right. Now that I've gone off on my little tangent here, what time is it anyway? 947? We're doing pretty good. All right. Let's move on to the bottom part here. Sorry, I do that. I go off on tangents and then I stop coloring and I get, you know, the hand gestures because I'm really excited about what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hello again, Steve. Hello. Uh, okay. Let's bring in a little bit of, let's grab 194. Ooh, 263. Is this 194? Yes, 194 red violet. Get some water. See, you can tell my throat's feeling better when I can go off on my tiny little TED Talks. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's much better. Hello again, Steve. Hello. <laughs> Steve's in and out tonight, Jack. All right. Um, and Honestly, I'm kind of bored out there. Oh, really? <laughs> you want to hang out in here? Uh, it, it let's Kat see. likes your coloring. Wait till she watches my video. Oh, yes, most definitely, Kat. 
Let's see. That's why I've been doing draw this in your style. It helps both my art abilities and playing with play more playing more with painting and coloring. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, we have let's see, kaput mortem, and then let's grab. We have one ninety two out already. I feel like we do. And one of my little timed reminders again, uh, don't forget giveaway on Instagram for 10k followers. There's going to be three winners. So if you haven't, take a look at that. Um, he misses us. Oh, he does. I think he misses us. <laughs> you want a postcard to color, Steve? I'm good. <laughs> I think I'll pass tonight. Michelle says, hi, Steve. Hi, Michelle. I started watching streams to learn blending techniques. Now I'm hooked. I don't watch everyone, but I have my faves that I watch a lot. Aw, does that mean I'm one of your faves, Kat? Yay! <laughs> All right, let's start with... Um... Hi, Kat. <laughs> Kat says hi. All right, uh, let's see. Deep cobalt cream. There's a lot of cross hatching here that tells you where a lot of her shaded stuff is. Steve's sleepy. He's yawning. Long day. It was a long day. Okay. Here. Okay. A little bit there. Who is everybody's go to on like. That they really like to follow. They they look forward to their posts. Like I said, you know, we know with Chris Chang, she's got a lot of tutorials that their fame, like I mentioned, is really good. Um, so who who else uh, on Instagram and stuff do you guys like? Your favorite? I love watching and learn something new every time. Aw, thanks. So is the turtle from Rudy? What's Rudy? The guy's name is Rory. The guy who the guy who colors it. The only other Rory's I know of is Rory from Gilmore Girls and Rory from Doctor Who. <laughs> I've not been able to get into actual coloring lately, even when I really would love to. I look at my books, PDFs, and try to figure out what sounds good, and I end up giving up. You know, that's fair. That happens to me more often than not. Like, for me to really sit down, like, because I'll, I'll, you know, I'll color stuff for you guys and whatnot. I've been really excited about this book, but I really need to feel inspired. It's the same way when I was younger and, like, I wanted to paint or something, like, I couldn't just paint. I needed to feel inspired to paint. Is she in the, was she eating or is she meowing She's outside out. their door? <laughs> it's so funny, uh, chat. So, you know, we're home a lot now just because of lockdown and virus and yada yada. The cats are so used to us being around that when the kids go to bed at night, uh, Annie, the younger cat who is absolutely in love with our kids, will sit outside their bedroom door and meow, but we can't let her in at night because then she'll hop up all over their beds and, and wake them up. But after they go to bed, she will sit outside their door and meow because she misses them. It's absolutely adorable. Let's see. Zucchini Kitty, yes, yeah, she is an out, like, she just kinda, I mean, I knew her name, but all of a sudden she was just like, boom, she exploded fast. Well, not, not exploded. Karen didn't explode. <laughs> No, she didn't explode. Her channel, her channel, her channel exploded, but not physically by popularity. <laughs> okay, exploded was not the right word. Aw, Nelly, you're sweet. Such a scene. <laughs> YouTube hates me. No notifications. I just found out you were alive. Oh, hi, Boots. Yes, we're live. Sammy's my first and still watch her all the time. Yes, Sammy is so talented. She's great. She's got a great personality. So positive. I love it. I don't do Instagram, but on YouTube, I have three. You, Lisa, and Belinda. Aw, that's awesome. Yeah, Lisa, she's super talented, too. She can just create things out of nowhere. Like, she can draw super great, and she color. Like, it's, it's just, it's fantastic. That's me. I have tons of amazing books, but nothing really says color me. The way she colors hair and fur is stunning. Yes. Oh, she inspires me so much. Like, um, I ended up doing a page of Laura Rafferty's. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. Um, with the cat. We I actually fashioned it after our cat. But I colored that page because it was the day that um, Sammy was coloring that orange cat. She was coloring that orange cat and I was like, oh man, she makes it look so easy. So I grabbed um, Laura's page and I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. And then the same thing with the... Um, oh, that, that kind of candy girl picture I started from Hannah Carlson. 
another whip I haven't finished. But I started that just because um, I really liked... She was doing an unnatural skin color. I can't remember what it was. It might have been blue or green. It might have been green. I think she was coloring a mermaid anyway. And it just inspired me. I was like, I want to do that kind of thing. So I uh, I colored it in blue skin and then <laughs> I petered out on it. I do want to finish it though. I think it would look cool. I just forgot how long all the hair takes. And I was just like, oh, so much hair. <laughs> uh, let's see. Have you seen her work in this book? Amazing. Uh, Sammy work in this book? No, I haven't. I'll have to go back and look. In fact, when I saw this book on Amazon, I was just like, man, who has colored this? So I did a quick search. I'm trying to think. I want to... Hmm, I'm trying to remember. There was one of the other streamers kind of in our community that had worked on it. Can't remember who now, though. Heather, yes, yes. Color fell with Heather. In fact, I made a command for Heather. I need... I missed a few of them. I need to make more commands, but I think it was exclamation point Heather. I did. I added some streamer commands on here. Oh, no worries, Nelly. You're good. I ha I love having an Instagram for my art pictures and seeing other people's stuff. Yeah, Instagram was a really thing that kind of um, started getting me more into a lot of the coloring. Deepers, I have like 15 I watch. Every time there's a colorathon, I follow more. Right, Mona? I know. I feel like I'm always finding someone new. Heather Valentin. I love her. Wait, Heather Valentin? I haven't heard of her. I'll have to look her up. In fact, let me grab my sticky note. I'll look her up. See, I always love finding new people. Heather Valentin. I'll look her up. Is she a uh, YouTube cat? Let's see. Coloring with Elena and Mona are the ones I watch mostly. And I can't seem to get into the really long color alongs and live streams that get really complicated. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Coloring Kid has that book. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, Monia. Monia is is amazing like what she can do with skin tone like it blows me away she colored in this book oh awesome okay i'll have to take a look a patreon of hers now she started i'll have to look at her that's right belinda said that she started a patreon all right we're gonna use um actually no we're gonna use put mortem violet uh number 263 how many stars uh three stars it is a three star pencil steve Good choice. <laughs> Belinda uses this color a lot. Let's see. Uh, she has a YouTube channel, but I found her through her coloring pages. Nice. I don't know if that's if that's Heather's last name. She doesn't change. Oh, she doesn't charge a lot for it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Well, um, I do, I do Belinda's Patreon. I don't think I really do anybody else's Patreon. I don't know. Who else has Patreons? I mean, we know Monia has it now. I started thinking about a Patreon for myself, like, last year sometime, maybe a year ago, and I started putting one together, but I just never finished it. In fact, I started creating these individual letters that I was going to do as, like, perks, but I just never finished it. So now I have these drawings of all these individual letters I haven't figured out what to do with. I thought about trying to put them on... Oh, I never put the green on this, like... Um, putting them on my Etsy, but there's, you know, all the different letters in the alphabet, and I can't upload... Like, you're limited to, like five or six things you can upload anything so if i were to upload all the letters oh my gosh i would have like you'd have to do them in like groups of five or whatever and i think it would just take over my 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 etsy um let's see actually i have a personalized coloring that book that she did for me oh that's amazing cat oh heather valentine okay hannah lynn oh, okay cola stash lady who's that or is that, was that a typo? Is it color stash or something? I haven't heard of her, Nelly. Patreon from Lynn on Patreon for Heather Valentin. Okay. Oh, that's right. Lisa has one. Oh, thanks, Kat. I just don't know what I would do for the perks. I don't know that I would do, like, Patreon-only streams because I like being able to have everyone here. But I suppose for perks, I could do coloring pages... And I have, maybe I could do like 
Patreon only sticker. But I don't know. I think because if I did it, I would really want I'd really want to do it justice for you all, you know? So I feel like I want to I want to think of something good for it, you know? I'll have to do some research and think about it. You know what I would love to do, actually? And it's always been one of my goals since I started this channel. I want to think of a really good topic. And my ultimate goal would be to have Johanna on the stream. That would be amazing. Colostatch. Well, now I'm curious. I had never heard of her. Let me write her down. Let's see. Colostatch. Is she a colorist or... Gosh, why haven't I heard of her? Julie's passion for coloring. Yes, I've heard of her. You don't know her name? Okay. I'm assuming she's on YouTube or is that Patreon? Yeah, I haven't heard of her before. Um, We need a lighter brown color. Let's grab 186. The terracotta. That's terracotta. Oh, yeah. Johanna is beyond awesome beyond beyond yeah i would love to have her on here someday that would be so much fun gosh lost refine art and i'm a patron of her she does art she gives reference photos that she took as perks and long tutorials oh okay that's cool she's a colorist okay youtube and patron all right nice all right so now i've got i'm gonna fill this as my base color the terracotta 186 Okay, so let me ask, let me ask you all this. For those of you that are part of somebody's Patreon, what is your favorite part about their Patreon? What do you, what do you look forward to for it? Is it the perks? Is it the exclusive items? What is your favorite part about being part of somebody's Patreon? Because that's the other thing here, too, is because I have memberships here, I can also do that kind of customizable thing. So we have our main membership package on here, but I have the ability to add more tiers if I wanted to do different things, like have more things available. Um, but Patreon, a lot of people have Patreon. I don't know. The question is, would it be easier for me to do it all in one place, like on YouTube? or separate on Patreon. I mean, there's a lot of questions to be answered and a lot to take into consideration. Let's see. I watch Anne, Lisa, My Colorful Country Life, Michelle, and last but not least, thank you. Oh, thanks, Michelle. See if I can find her. I love Johanna's books. The private tutorials, okay. So you like the exclusive items and tutorials on those exclusive items. All right. Okay, so something to consider. Latry Fine Art does longer tutorials that are time lapses on YouTube. She also sends out postcards of her art. See, Steve and I had so much fun with the postcards and I loved doing the giveaway of them. I think more poor, ah, words, hard. I think more postcards would be a lot of fun. I would enjoy doing more postcards. I'm with Steve Belinda. Originals. Steve Originals, yeah. Maybe, maybe a whole tier, one of the perks could be uh, Steve Originals. Tier zero. Tears, aw, Steve. Uh, I'm using terracotta, by the way. Just kind of filling this in. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I wouldn't do Patreon right now. Lisa mentioned they're currently involved in a lawsuit and Patreon might not be around after the lawsuit. Really? What kind of lawsuit could they be involved in? Like from people that run the things? Interesting. I'll have to Google that and see what's up with that. But see, then that's when it would come in handy with the memberships. I could just, because I have the ability for members, I can make members only posts and I can do members only streams so that people are that are members are, are doing that. But I've also always said I never really wanted anybody to feel left out. So, you know, there's there's a balance between me wanting to do exclusivity or or you know members it's 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 hard i'm definitely gonna have to think on it put a lot of thought into it and, and i'd want to 
cater something very, very specific. You know what I mean? Let's see, for real. So it's for Lisa's, the Terramon has a once a month personal one-on-one -on -one lesson, but it's the highest tier. Oh yeah, for her. I, I mean, the Lisa's skill is, is beyond. Pencil stage. Okay, is that what I... Oh, color. Okay, here. I'll amend that real quick. Pencil stage. Perfect. Okay, cool. I'll take a look at her. Uh, let's see. We're going to do a little bit of the Kaput Mortem here. But Lisa also, for those one-on-one -on -one tutorials, she has an entirely different skill set too. Like, I do draw, I do, but like she's got that full-on like skill in like realistic life drawing. Like that's, I mean, I was on one of her streams one time and she showed that apple or whatever that she did. I was like, holy cow. Two more flowers and I'm done. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, awesome, Sherry. Thanks. Lisa Lactree is trying to figure out what she'll do if Patreon goes away. She has $1, $4, and $9 tiers. The 4 and 9 get you her longer art tutorials. She does fine art, though, so it's beneficial. If you don't want to do exclusive because it doesn't feel right, then don't feel pressured to do that. Yeah, so I don't know. It's tough because I like the idea of being able to offer more for like maybe people that are members. So like maybe things I could send out, you know, versus, versus, um, you know, not everybody being able to join in on the fun, I guess. I don't know. Not that I'm saying that, you know, other people to do exclusive things is a bad idea. I'm not saying that at all. Like it, it, it works for them kind of thing. But for me personally, like I've said from the beginning, um, burnt umber that I want to make sure that it's, you know, all inclusive kind of thing, but it may be fun to have products like being sent out, like use the letters and stuff. In fact, I'll show you what I'm talking about with the letters and you can tell me what you think. Um, I've been redrawing some of them on my iPad. Let me pull it up real quick and I'll show you. Um, okay. So like, for instance, here is the letter A. So they would be, um, they're colorable letters. So like if you wanted to give somebody like a birthday present or you wanted to like color your letter specifically and they're all different. Let me pull up the images that I have because I already have them drawn. I've just been redrawing them on my iPad to make them a bit more. Um... Okay, so like I said, here's the letter A, B, oh, that turned, hang on, B, C. I mean, I've got the whole alphabet done already. Let's see, is that, hang on. Zoom out, oop. Okay, well, oh well, it's gonna be zoomed in. Okay, E, F, G, H, I, J. And these originally, I didn't draw them on the iPad, I hand drew all of them. A, L, M, I was really into this um, plaid pattern that I actually really like on it. So they're not quite mandalas, but each letter has its own individual um, pattern on it. So O, P, U, R, S, P, U, B, W, X. <laughs> Steve's singing the alphabet now. Uh, y and Z. So like I have this whole thing that I did but I've just never done with them. I have this whole alphabet drawn, but nothing going on with them. Pencil stash. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what she was. I keep mis misspelling her name. Okay, pencil stash. Yes, all right, I'll look her up. Uh, let's watch Lindsay the Frugal Crafted. She does sponsorship videos over on Patreon. Oh, that's cool. I can't wait for Johanna's new book to come out. She keeps teasing us on Facebook. Oh, I know, I'm so excited. Um, I never want to assume that I am on Johanna's list for an early release book so I always have my fingers crossed that I, I get to be in that category but you know she may change her her marketing thing but if that's the case ideally I'd be able to show you guys um the book but obviously she may change her marketing you know she may change up the way she does things but um it would be cool if I got to show that to you guys squid doodle art and one other person who I can't think of her name does the colorable lettering it's neat yeah see so I thought that would be that would be kind of fun or like Maybe I could like color 
maybe I could color the letter and like send like print out postcards of those letters and then color them and then send them to them. But the thing of it is, is like making sure that I come up with something unique every month. You know, once you get a colored letter of your first letter, you're not going to want that same letter next month. You know what I mean? So I would need to come up, um, come up with some ideas to keep it fresh and unique every month. Should make an Etsy book out of that? I suppose I could for the whole alphabet, but I don't know what I would... Because there's also a fine line, like I wouldn't want to charge too much for like a big book because technically, I mean, that's 26 pages. So it's like, eh. I suppose I could break them up into like groups of five. I don't know. There's a lot, there's a lot to think about to be sure. You would buy it? Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. So Burnt Umber 280. There's a lot of potential for a lot of different things that I could be a lot of fun. And I've only begun to scratch the surface and explore a lot of them. I actually have an idea for an interview that I could do with Johanna. I would need to get it all figured out to a T and then I could message her about it, but I need to refine it quite a bit. But it would be very, very cool to somehow have her on the channel. That would be so amazing. I mean, she's so, she's so down to earth and I just, I had a brainstorm the other day and I think it could work, but. Dee Dee Wellington, I've watched for a long time. Yes, yes, I follow Dee Dee. Um, who's that other woman? She's got a pretty decent sized channel. Uh, Jennifer. Stay, Jennifer Stay. Jennifer, what is her channel name? Coloring Bliss. Coloring Bliss. Yes, Coloring Bliss. Um, she does a lot of reviews for stuff. And she's got a pretty good setup, too. She's got a little little pet camera where her dog lays all the time. There's so many great colorists and artists. It's difficult to keep up. And with work, it's hard to follow a bunch. So I've chosen my favorites and stick with them. Well, I appreciate that I'm one of your favorites, Kat. <laughs> Coloring Bliss. Yes, thank you, Boots. Zimmerman. Yes, Jennifer Zimmerman is also very good. Yeah, Steve. Uh, Jennifer's, Jennifer's husband's name is Steve, too. All right. Uh, Red Violet. Yeah, she does a real good job. I'm loving how this body is turning out. You need to add a little bit more green to her, though, I think. Well, now that I'm finally starting to feel back to myself, you know, I've been doing, I've been working a lot the last month trying to get out some new stuff for you guys. Like I said, later this week, there is going to be um, a bunch of new stuff. So I'm super excited for that. But in hand with that, I've been, you know, trying to brainstorm what kind of new things we can do. Um, so, yeah. If I could come up with the right stuff, then I think that it could be, be a lot of fun. Let's see. They do paper and books too. Jennifer, Steve. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like Jen reading with pugs. Yes. Reading with pugs is another one. Kirby's new book is coming out in the U.S. a month after the UK. He said, he just said pre-order for the U.S. edition is now available. Oh, awesome. I'll have to check that out. Yes. Joe Beth. Yes, yes, yes. Joe Beth. How could I forget Joe Beth? Yes. Yeah. She, I saw on Instagram, she's working on a new uh, journal right now. I think she's doing a cloth one. Yeah, Jo Beth. Of course, Jo Beth. I need to make a command for Jo Beth, too. A few commands. I went through today and cleaned up a few of the commands that, you know, because I had made, like, custom commands for colorathons and stuff. And I'm like, well, we're not using those anymore. So I cleaned a bunch of those up. Uh, let's grab Juniper Green. Yeah, there are so many incredibly talented. But on the other hand, I still feel like our our community of a lot of people with their favorite colorists, it's not so big that I feel overwhelmed by choices because everybody um, everybody has such different talents. I feel like there's something you can learn from everybody. You know what I mean? Like I feel like our particular community, our particular niche isn't, totally oversaturated. You know what I mean? Don't ever do it. Oh, I'm good, Sherry. Thank you, though. Hi, Jean. Looks great. Also glad you're recovering. I'm just going to be lurking. Sounds good, Jean. 
Well, we are just working on Mary Shelley. That is what her name is. Our turtle has a name. We don't, we don't need to name our turtle this time. It's Mary Shelley. But I've just missed you guys, and it's so nice to be able to chat with all of you and hang out. And it's just it's awesome. That's what that is. It's awesome, awesome. Let's see. Get this in here. Let's see. I used to do diamond painting videos, but it got way too expensive. Yes. Okay. So that's probably one of the reasons, not probably it is. It's one of the reasons that I haven't tried diamond painting yet. I know Artiza is going to come out with some at some point, so I may try theirs, but like I've looked and I saw there was a doctor who one. I would love to have that one, but I cannot justify a hobby. I've never tried and spend $50 on something I may or may not like, you know, hunching over and, you know, working on that might give me a headache. I don't know but I can't justify 50 bucks on it. I get why it is that cost though. I mean, all those little rhinestones and stuff. So I get that, but I just can't justify it. <laughs> I don't know that Steve could justify it either. Let's see, I just shipped Jo Beth a big box of lace for her junk journals. Junk journals I do, but I love watching the creative process. Oh, awesome, Kat, she'll love that. I know that she's been um, not feeling super great, but she's getting back to it now. So that she will probably be so excited about that. Hi, Amy. I love diamond painting, but the cost of doing unboxings every month is too expensive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I feel like diamond painting can get really expensive for sure. You have to be, I think to be able to get them every month, you have to be pretty invested in it. I figure I've got enough projects on my plate. I probably don't need to be investigating a new hobby. <laughs> I do too many hobbies. I'm not getting into diamond painting anytime soon. Yeah, see, Mona, I'm right there with you. I can't justify my 120 polychromos, so I'll wait for Black Fridays. I can justify it for you, Amy. It's justified. It's justified, I tell you. <laughs> Hopefully, though, there'll be some good uh, sales for Black Friday. I know um, in the U.S., Labor Day is... Wait, when's Labor Day, Steve? Uh, not this Monday. Not today, but next week. Oh, yeah. So next week. So there may be some good uh, Labor Day sales coming up, too. So oh, there's that. Do we need some lighter green? Hmm. Let's go in with our terracotta again. How many stars is it? Terracotta is three stars. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you they're all three stars, even if they're not now. That's not right. I'm sorry. I switched between hobbies. Yeah, I just took on a new hobby of miniatures, so no new ones for me. I still have the other one. I just haven't been able to do it. Enabling alert. Always, Sherry. Always. Next weekend. There you go. Oh, yeah. You were saying Labor Day. Yeah. So there's going to be some Labor Day sales. Diamond painting can be affordable if you shop at AliExpress. Just have to wait for China Mail. Ah, okay. I watch Portuguese coloring channel. They're good too. Oh, nice. I have the same diamond painting I started two years ago. I haven't finished it yet, but still window shop new ones. My two big hobbies are coloring and yoga. I got to stretch it out after sitting for still for so long. I need to pick up yoga again, especially after all of this. Like, I spent a lot of time laying down and my strength is pretty much zero to nil and I could definitely do with building it up a little bit more. And Steve does yoga with me so I really have no excuse. <laughs> Let me get a drink of water real quick. Let's see. Amazon never did Prime Day in the US this year. You know it's probably because they were too bogged down with everything they wouldn't be able to handle the Russian sales. <clears throat> There we go. I might be behind in the times, but what is a junk journal? Um, so she uses like a lot of different items to put it together. Um, check out uh Joe Beth's Crafty Cauldron. Um, she's got them all in there, so you'll be able to see kind of what it is. Night Noni! I crochet embroidery counted cross stitch scrapbook. Oh wait, I was reading that all as one thing. I was like, wait, what's crochet embroidery counted cross stitch scrapbook reading? <laughs> that sounds like a really intense hobby, but it's crochet, embroidery, counted cross stitch, scrapbooking, and reading. <laughs> I was like, holy cow! <laughs> That's really, really intense. So there's either Portuguese or Brazilian lady as well. Let's see, the entire space under my bed is filled with diamond paintings. I have a bunch completed, but more than I have done. Let's say junk journaling I want to try, but I'm way too OCD for it. I get that. I'd probably use a lot of hot glue. <laughs> All right, let's see. Terracotta. 
I'm gonna fill that in there. Yeah, these drawings, like I said earlier, really remind me of Kirby Roseanne's for sure. But honestly, I got this book because of this illustration. Like, I absolutely loved it. Well, you have kids when the Lion Guard songs are stuck in your head. For those of you who don't know, Lion Guard is a spinoff of The Lion King. It's a TV show. What time is it? 10 19? We're doing good. I feel like it needs just a little bit more red. I do crocheting and cross stitching as well. Nice. I did cross stitching when I was a little bit younger. The nice thing about coloring books is that they're much easier to hide than diamond paintings. <laughs> Boots. I just got rid of all my silk flowers because I'm no longer doing flowers for weddings. Oh, there you go. All right. Um. All right. Let's see, red violet. I want to add a little bit more red in here. Gosh, how is it only Monday already, chat? Is it Friday yet? I feel like it should be Friday. Okay, we are just about ready to do her helmet. It's too hot in here. I'm sorry, Steve. Hi, Steve! Bye. I went out of the lines here. Not that you should worry too much, but I can't help it. There we go. That's better. All right. Um, let's grab our juniper real quick. I'll look up a chat in just a second. A little bit of the red violet here. And terracotta. Um, let's see, a little bit more red violet. Let's see, what am I missing? Uh, ch -ch 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 Tuesday here, there you go. I do diamond painting, watercolor, and coloring. I've been thinking of maybe doing coloring on my channel while I start back up. What do you think? Of course, Boots. Let us know. Let us know. I know how to crochet and knit and have bins full of yarn, but I don't have the attention span to finish project. I do more of my crocheting during Christmas time because I do a lot of, like, crochet gifts. I do embroidery, but it's a winter craft for me. Snuggle under a blanket and do embroidery. Exactly. Crocheting's a winter craft for me. I like to start doing some hook rugs. I've not done those in a while. Oh, that sounds cool. Embroidery painting. Is that like that punch needle stuff, Amy? My sister does that. Not do diamond paintings. Kills my eyes. Tiny little things. Yeah, I could see that, Nellie. I think that would be my concern, too. I May mean, I finish crochet while listening to audiobooks. Oh, nice. I get frustrated counting stitches on crochet, so I don't... I probably don't count as much as I should. I make up a lot of my own patterns. Um, actually, we're not going to use red violet. We're going to use burnt umber. A little bit of that shadow under the helmet. Adding a little bit of shadow to these places where there would be a bit more. Down to the shell here. I'll look up at chat in just a second. There we go. All right. How are we thinking about her, huh? I feel like she's doing okay. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch -ch. A light pad is a life changer for diamond painting. I could see that. I could see that. I love the feel of the thread going through the cloth. Oh, nice. And I watercolor. Things tend to go everywhere, so recording that would be impossible. I get really messy. Just a really tall tripod boots. Can be done with a punch needle, but there's loads. But there's different tool. It looks better. They use it to make lace. Can't remember the name of it. Oh, cool. Oh, this one here. I know this one's adorable boots. Use my light pad to do backgrounds on coloring pages. Oh, nice. 
Let's zoom out for just a sec, kind of see how she looks as a whole. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pleased with that. All right, let's do her helmet. I don't think we're gonna do like a hot pink for sure, but like a darker kind of purpley, burgundy kind of thing, just because she is darker. And I think if I did hot pink, it would stand out too much. So we want 194, do we already have that out? Yes, that's red violet. Um, I also want 135. One thirty-five, which is the front door knocker so far. Yeah, see, I love this one. Like I said, this is the reason I got this one. Okay, this is light red violet. Oh, go figure. Red violet and light red violet. <laughs> okay, uh, light red violet. One thirty-five. Let's grab one thirty-five. Let's grab 128, 128, which is light purple pink. And then let's grab 103, which is ivory. And then we'll use green as our um, contrasting color. Uh, let's see. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I use two paint mostly, so it'd be a huge mess. The tripod most likely go flying. Yeah, that's fair, Nelly. I'm right there with you. Got my glasses. <laughs> uh, let's see. I ordered the Tim Jeff Scouring Heaven. It's my first coloring heaven. I'm excited. I've never done coloring heaven before, but I hear they're like it's kind of hard to get them right now, especially when you're shipping them to the U.S. I know how to do tatting, but again, I get frustrated counting to get even. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right, let's start with red violet. This is just sort of a black line behind it, so we just need to color this part here. Maybe we should get up the Wink of Stella after this and add a little glitter to this. You never have too much glitter. Actually, I take that back. You can't have too much glitter, especially when like your kid spills the whole tube or who am I kidding? When I spill the whole tube, I'm trying to blame them. It wouldn't be them. It would be me. I would knock over the whole thing and there'd be glitter everywhere. Uh, let's see. I tried watercolor, but don't have the patience to learn it. Gouache is another love gouache. They said it takes about three weeks now in the U.S. Oof. Some of their stuff is really not my cup of tea, but I really want the Fantasy Cat one. What exactly is gouache? Like a thick paint? I think so, Allie. I haven't used it too much. Watercolors are not my friend. I I don't think I do watercolors in the traditional way, where a lot of people put down water first. Um, Cindy Lainart or Cindy Lineart or something, she, um, on Instagram, she's really good with watercolors. Too much glitter happens when you have kindergarten kids glitter. Yes, exactly. I love watercolor. The messier, the better. All right, light red violet. Okay. Watercolor is my favorite. I love letting the paint flow. Yeah, see, so I tend to do like put. Uh, I don't tend to wet my paper first. I've never mastered that. I'm sure there's a lot about watercolor I'm doing wrong. Gouache is an opaque watercolor, the in-between of watercolor and acrylic. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So, like, I did, um, the backgrounds here I did for watercolor, but I really just did dry. Like, I didn't wet the paper beforehand, if that makes sense. That's about the extent of my watercolor skill. I mean, I've done some pages in watercolor, but... And honestly, until I watched Laura Rafferty, I didn't really know how to, how to pronounce gouache. <laughs> but nope, watercolors and me do not get along. Yeah, it's touch and go with watercolors for me. Uh, let's see, light purple pink.
Okay, then we're gonna grab our Ooh, ivory. Not wetting the paper is wet on dry. It is a real water. Oh, cool. Okay, so I haven't been totally messed it up. <laughs> it's like having your cake and eating it too. Nice. All right, let's grab now um, deep cobalt green. A little bit of that on her helmet. Okay. Hi, Shara. Can I put a picture I painted in your Facebook group? Of course, Boots, yes. see red violet you can if you want just in case any of the other mods uh in the facebook group don't see it you can say uh you know in reference to chat tonight uh when you post it that way they know that it was something that i okayed but yes i'd love to see it i have the new color i do use them for backgrounds i haven't taken the time to learn my ma learn to master my water control for water colors to come out the way i want i have never tried neo colors but i hear a lot of great things about them i feel sometimes you just have to oh i have an alarm going off I feel sometimes you just have to admit defeat and move on, which I have with watercolors. I give my color pencils and pastels. Oh, give me my color pencils and pastels. I'm a happy girl. There you go, cat. I'm feeling pretty good, Shara. I am feeling pretty good. It's, you know, it's not totally 100% yet, but pretty dang good considering how I was last week. So I am pretty pleased with my, uh, with my progress here. Uh, let's see. Light red violet. Okay, and then light purple pink. Okay, and then that ivory again. And then, let's see, let's do, let's grab our deep cobalt green. And then let's grab our, what is this? This is emerald green, 163. Okay, and then the number 171, light green. I'll look up a chat in just a second. All right, now let's go ahead and grab our red violet. And then let's grab our ivory. Over that. There we go. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I combine ink tanks or watercolors with pencils quite often. Oh, that'd be cool. I'm so excited that I'm getting an Emily Illustrator original. Yes, Shira. That went in the mail on Saturday, I think. I think Saturday. Yeah, so you should be getting it soon. Another thing I'm working on, mixing mediums and coloring. Oh, that could be cool. I have the Intense Travel Pans. I really want the pencils, but still really am torn because I want Polychromos and Albrecht Doors. Just get them all, Amy. Just, just get them all. <laughs> oh, Amy. I'm not good at using Intense, but what it seems I learned hurts a lot. I have a few Intense. I have like 12. I don't use them all that often. Um, okay, so we're going to grab Red Violet again. And then we're just going to jump straight into uh, Light Purple Pink. Okay, then we're gonna grab the deep cobalt green. There we go. And we're gonna grab 171, the light green. Put that there. Um, I wanna grab the burnt umber. A little bit more shadow there. All right, 
Um, now, what I do want to do is I want to use our blender pencil, okay? Oh, awesome, Sherry, congrats. And that is just fine too, Pam. <laughs> All right, so we are going to use the Karandash blender pencil. I want to kind of smooth this out. This is probably by far my favorite blender pencil. I highly, highly recommend it, but I also recommend putting it in a pencil extender because they are prone to breakage. However, um, Belinda has the new um, blender pencils that come in like an actual pencil. I haven't tried those yet, so that could be cool because that was one flaw with this is it didn't have enough support. So a lot of times when you used it, it would snap, but that's why I keep it in a pencil extender. See, let's lighten that just a smidge. There we go. Sometimes I wipe off the tip of the blender pencil because it will get, you know, pencil on it and then sometimes it will smear onto the next one. Back. Let's go ahead and zoom out a bit now. Darken that so you can see it. There we go. Maybe not that far out. There we go. That's better. All right, now let's do it off there. Do that same thing here. What am I missing? Uh, are you the one that did a full fairy picking tents in February? Oh, that's cool. Um, <laughs> sure. I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> Not available US. I keep checking it because I love the Karandash blenders. Oh, the blender pencils. Okay. The art store near art store near my house said the Karandash blender is going to come in pencil form as well when the new colors reach the US. Oh, cool. See, that could be cool. Because there are definitely some flaws with this one. I mean, I fixed it by putting it in a blender pencil, but I'd like not to have to worry about the risk of this thing snapping the moment I put some pressure on it, you know? Now, if you find that your turtle body is a little bit too dark, especially after using this, you could always use like a um, white Prismacolor or white Cran d'Ache. Um, they will blend okay over after you've already used a blender pencil. I just told my local art store they'll not be available until November slash December. Aww. I watched a stream on Ink Ted's and now I can't find the darn thing again. I want to rewatch. Awesome, Boots. I'll take a look. Oh, she does. Yeah, she has it already. I have yet to break mine, Emily, and I have yet to put in an extender. I just tend to push a little bit too hard. Maybe it's the way that I hold it and I like, I don't know. I don't know. But I have snapped all of mine. Every single one. <laughs> So for me, I solved that problem by putting it in a pencil extender. So this kind of darkens it up almost. All right, now we're going to grab one last item, if I can find it, where is it? Hmm. Should have been in my gel pen cup, but it's not. Hey, Ty Chat. Hang on. Hang on. Where did I put that? Looking for my wink of Stella. Oh gosh, I may have to put on the Wink of Stella later. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, found it, found it, found it, found it. Yay. There we go. Just got to make sure it's not the blue one like that last time. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's probably, yeah, that probably makes a difference, Sherry. I have the woodless pencil, so maybe that's why I don't have a problem with the Karandash blender. Oh, maybe, yeah. 
I always seem to come broken. Yeah, the last one I came, uh, I got one of them was broken. Okay, so this is the uh, Wink of Stella brush pen. It's just basically like clear glitter. It's hard to see. Um, I don't know. You can see it in real life pretty well. Peter Hewitt has a bunch of videos about ink tents, including tutorial. Peter Hewitt is so fantastic. She's so talented. It's crazy. All right, so we're going to use the Wink of Stella. Have a little glitter. I'll tilt this here in a little bit so you can see glitter on her helmet. Okay. Now let's see if we can get... Uh, oh, winds. wind from the fan is blowing it. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it. It's just wet right now. But when it dries, it'll be sparkly. You can see it in real life. <laughs> They're fun if you can see the picture, IRL. All right, let's zoom out here. Hey, that's pretty good. Considering the progress I've been making lately, that was quite a bit to the whole turtle done in, in one stream. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Adding a little bit. I'm pretty happy with that. What do we think, chat? Now I'm just nitpicking it. <laughs> Let's see, is that in focus? No. Fix that. Boop. There we go. Yeah. What do we think, huh? We happy with our Mary Shelley is her name. Mary Shelley. Aw, oh, thanks, Sally. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good, Michaela. How are you? I'm feeling much better. Use those jelly rolls, but I found a few I like. Right? She's cute. Carrying her little teacups. Hi, Mona. Okay, well, before we go, just a reminder for everybody, because we got a few more people in here than we did before. Uh, we hit 10K followers on Instagram. There is a big giveaway happening on there, so check out the Instagram. Um, you have a chance to win any of the many stickers. We also have a new sticker in the shop, which is this one. It's the teacup sticker. Um, and pretty soon I am gonna be putting the mini butterfly up for sale in the shop as well. Um, keep an eye on the Etsy store and Instagram and everything like that later this week because we have something new that is also coming up. Um, do, 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 do. I think that's everything. Don't forget the swatch downloads are available on my website, emilyillustrator.com. You can put um, exclamation point website in chat. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to head out. I'm going to go rest my voice. I think we did pretty good for our first full two hour stream back since God knows how long. Um, as far as when I'm streaming again, um, I am going to give my voice a rest. So we'll probably be live again on Friday. My goal is to get back two, three days a week. I want to. Um, but I also don't want to overdo it and get set back. So how do you tag someone on Insta? Uh, Boots, you type, like if you were going to tag me, you would type the at symbol and then Emily Illustrator. And that will tag your friend. Generally, if you put at and you type, start typing in their name, uh, so name suggestions will pop up. Um, so for now, let's plan... Um, let's plan on streaming again on Friday. Um, we'll do some more of these teacups. Um, like I said, we're going to get back to three days a week eventually, but for now we're going to stick to two, um, while the rest of everything heals up. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for being here. Uh, thank you Kat so much for that super chat and your wonderful, lovely, lovely gift. We are definitely going to use them. I'm going to make a new swatch chart for it. You are absolutely amazing Kat. You are so amazing for supporting the stream the way that you do. Michelle, thank you so much for your super chat. I appreciate it so, so much. And Trish, thank you, thank you, thank you for your super chat. You guys are so, so amazing. Again, I would not be able to do all of this without all of you. And I love hanging out with you and chatting with you all. It is just beyond amazing. You guys are just are just so wonderful and lovely. And I love hanging out with all of you and seeing all your pictures. I know I don't get a chance to comment on everybody's pictures on Facebook, but just know I do see them all. And I, I they're just, you guys are wonderful. And you're such a talented group. 
and I can't wait to see more of what you do and do more stuff. Like I said, we got more stuff, more fun stuff planned. So stick around. Um, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see when we go live. Check out the um, Instagram, Facebook group, all of that. All right, everyone have a great rest of your week. I will see you Friday. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.